Hey guys, Vulcan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up the sun in Revit to get an accurate shade. And after that I'm going to be showing you how to do some solar analysis where you're actually going to be testing out to see where the shadows are pointing all the way throughout the day and in the end we're going to be exporting some amazing animations so you can show that to your client and make informative design decisions. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit. This is just a project I'm going to be using for this. It's got a lot of windows, so I thought it would be... It's an important project for sun settings and sh shading is very important for this particular building. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to turn on the sh shadows just to see where they are by default. So you go just down here and you hit this button and you turn on the shadows. So now, as you can see, we have some shadows over here, but we need to think about what direction the, the sun is at and where the shadows pointing. So if I look at the building like this, you can see the sun is coming in through this window over here and we have some sunlight going inside but if I orbit this around you can see now this is in shade or this is in dark so just by orbiting the building around it's like we're rotating it around its axis and the sun is going from a different direction and that's because this is at default settings and just to show you a bit more of this I'm just going to go to the site plan and as you can see here we have shadows at 45 degrees going down and left now these I call them technical shadows these are just to give some depth to your drawings but they're not accurate shadows so this is just something that architects have used throughout the years and if you just want to kinda make some give some depth to your drawing but you don't want to you have to calculate accurate shading you just do this 45 degree down to the left angle shadow but this is Revit and of course we want to have accurate shading so I'm just going to go back into the 3D and now let's set that up so you have here this sun path button and if you go here to the sun settings let me just cancel out of this okay sun settings dialog here you can see we have this sun settings we have solar study and we have this still single day multi-day lighting so right now we're at lighting and as you can see we have this from top right from top left so these are kind of the default generic options and we don't really want to use this so if you want to set up anything decent you either go with still or a single day now still is just when setting up for renderings and you just want to have accurate sunlight you would go with this still and then first you need to set up the location of your project now this is very important because unless you are a flat earther you probably know that the earth is round and if you're standing in on different parts of our planet the shadow is coming from kind of different directions so setting up your project location is very important so you can just go here location and you need to be logged into your internet that's that's important and you just kinda zoom out and you can place this wherever you want maybe Germany let's go to Berlin yeah and you don't have to be a hundred percent accurate like uh, hundred kilometers isn't really much as far as solar studies goes so you can be sloppy as far as this thing goes so I'm just going to go okay so we first need to set up the location then we need to set up the date so the date is very important because Sun is coming from a lower angle during the winter months and from a higher angle during the summer months so make sure to set this up and the time as well you need to set it up right so let me just go apply and hit OK so this is what we have this is kind of a current settings that we set up and this is what we get and now as you can see if I rotate this building around you can see this is coming at the same angle if I look at it from this direction and if I kinda orbit around again the shadows are going the same way so we've fixed that up but if you want to kinda play around and see how shadows change throughout the day there is a manual way to do that and then there is the automatic animation way so let me show you the manual way first so you go here to sun path and you turn the sun path on and 
as you can see you get this kind of a diagram going around the building and this is actually kind of showing you the, all the directions and here you can see you have your sun this is the sun it's blue for some reason which is hardly accurate but anyway as you can see here you have the time and you can change the time so you can I don't know go 12 or 8 p.m. or whatever you can kind of play around but let me place it back here and as you can see now you can kind of turn it around and you can go left to right sliding it along this line and you can change the time and you can kind of go okay here's the sun that looks nice this is what 3 p.m. that's okay let's look at this is this is 945 so in the morning they're going to have some sunlight over here that's great if they're I don't know drinking coffee reading the paper and they'll they're going to have sun over here so this is just a fast way to analyze your project and now you can also play around with the date and as you can see when you start moving this up and down you can see down on this circle around you can see some dates so if I set it at here it's October the 3rd if I go here it's September the 10th and as you can see like this you can kind of play around this is May 31st so you can even change the date and the time as well but okay let's say this is you you've analyzed the house yourself in the project but you want to show something to your client so he would be happy to see what would the sunlight look on his building so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up this sun settings dialog and you go to here to single day and let's leave the settings as this you just select this sun sunrise to sunset and for the interval I'm going to go with 15 minutes so we get more frames and ground level okay let's leave it at terrain go apply okay and it looks weird like this but don't worry so this is what you get and now we need to do our analysis but first I'm just going to crop this view a bit so just go here crop view and make it a bit smaller so when we export our animation it won't be too large so we get something that looks like this now let's export our animation so you just go here to the start menu you open up this drop menu you go export you find images and animation you find solar study and here you can see frames per second this is a four second animation which sounds it's like short but doesn't really matter so let's leave it at that go OK let's leave it at desktop solar study in 3d view save it and here I'm going to leave it at uncompressed because I don't really need it and now you can see physically the shadow is moving around while it's exporting this animation and once this is finished you can just minimize Revit open this up and as you can see here's your animation so it kind of shows all of the shadows but you might say okay this is this looks very nice but how about inside the building I want to see a floor plan on which I can see these Sun analysis and that's a really good question so I'm just going to go to level 1 this is just the main level with the living room and here you can see I have this section and I'm going to open up this section and here we have our building and okay so let's now create a view for our floor plan for solar analysis I'm just going to open up this drop menu here for 3d and choose a camera and here for the perspective as you can see over here I'm going to turn that off so no perspective this will be just in scale 1 to 100 view and now I'm just going to place a camera at some reasonable I don't know head height and I'm just going to pull it down and make sure you pull it down as straight as possible so kind of like this and this is what you get as you can see this is just another floor plan so we have our floor plan for solar analysis so I'm just going to go here and go with the Sun settings go single day sunrise to sunset intervals at 15 minutes go apply OK turn on the shadows don't forget that that's quite important and now let's go and export this as an animation so just go here animation export images and animations solar studies let's leave all the set settings as is go OK and this is solar studies let's just call it floor plan and I'm going to leave it then at uncompressed 
and as you can see you have realistic shadows going on over here and now if I minimize Revit open up this solar study floor plan as you can see we have this animation and as you can see if I pause right here let me go back a second and as you can see here we have kind of the shadow and you can see where the second floor begins the shadow of the second floor now if I go here into Revit and if I just went with the simple level one and turned on the shadows you can see it kind of treats this window as a wall even though it's a curtain wall and the sun is going through it and it's just cutting the wall like it would with a section but if we create our 3d floor plan view like we did over here with this view and then turn it into an animation it won't actually cut the view you will actually see everything and the glass will be transparent okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day